Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Pisces? I hope you guys are doing amazing. How are you guys enjoying this weather? It's starting to get a bit hot. <laughs> um, here in California anyways, uh, we're definitely starting to feel the heat. I don't know about you guys, but I live by the mountains, so it gets pretty freaking hot out here in summer. Uh, so we're definitely starting to feel that um, climate change. But it's been a bit crazy. Okay, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can get updated. Uh, the newest videos coming up. We have tons of new videos coming through as well as spell work that is going to be going up. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome, my lovelies. Welcome, welcome. All right, one more and that's it. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's see what's going on. In regards to communication for the month of April, we have the Ten of Swords. So there is some type of ending, some type of uh, falling out. Uh, this could be with a friend, relative. Um, we'll get into that as we progress in the reading. But there is definitely an ending cycle here. Uh, for some of you guys, this is you deciding uh, to completely end or walk away from a situation that has created a lot of hurt, a lot of difficulties in your life, and you're just not wanting to sit there still uh, while they continue to hurt or take advantage of your generosity, whether it's love, whether it's uh, family members, whether it's your friends, whatever situation may come about. I definitely see an ending coming to you, Pisces. Now, in regards to your finances and career, you have the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands, um, be careful, Pisces, not to rub people the wrong way at work. Uh, and the reason I say that is the Five of Swords indicates ego is involved here. And I feel that for some of you guys, it's like you're very well received or people respect or admire you at work. But we all know that when we start to get along with people or people of higher positions um, start to rely more on us, we're always going to be dealing with people around that are either envious of you or that are hating. And this is the energy that I'm sensing. It's almost like someone is very carefully watching you um, and they're watching you not in a positive way, but they're watching an opportunity where they may have an upper hand in a uh, in the office or work setting. So again, be mindful not to rub people the wrong way. If you're doing great, that is amazing, Pisces, and I'm happy for you, love. But try not to be rubbing that in the face of people around you at work because it's only going to create a bit of attention, a bit of people hating or looking at everything you're doing just because they're nosy and they want to see exactly what's going on. So be careful with that. Now, in regards to the blockage to overcome for this month of April is the Four of Swords. So the blockage to overcome is that of being still. There is going to be a situation where you're going to have to make some type of decision. I see that for a lot of you guys, it could be in connection to a relationship. Um, and now, relationship could be partnership, it could be love, but it can also be, again, like I said, people around you. And the Four of Swords as an obstacle is there is a need for you to get out of that complacency. There is a need for you to get out of stillness, of not wanting to make decisions or not wanting to take action you've been in your head about a situation for some of you guys it could be the hesitation between walking away from a relationship that is not serving a relationship where perhaps there is a lot of pride involved uh, it's almost like wanting one and the other is always wanting to have the upper hand uh, against one another um, but for others of you i feel very strongly the workplace there is almost like um 
like learning to be a little bit more reserved. I feel, again, they're saying, you know, just be careful not to rub people the wrong way. And this could even be like, as an example, like, uh, it's almost like the energy of if you're working with, uh, as an example, if you're working with someone in the workplace that is of a higher position that has a relationship or that are married, whether they're female or male, it doesn't matter. Um, what they're saying here is there could be a like a likeness, to, uh, not a likeness. There is uh, some type of energy where they're they're liking your work ethic or or, or someone's trying to work. Um, to help you grow and there's almost a feeling of like someone in the background um paying attention to what you're doing and i feel jealousy so for some of you guys it could be like dealing with uh, a person that is marrying that perhaps their partner works in that same um in that same uh workplace uh that type of vibe and what they're telling you is just be a little bit more reserved pisces um do not announce your moves. Do not announce what you're doing. Do not announce because I feel like you're bringing in a lot of people really like just looking into your situation. If you can see here, we have two men in the background and yes, they're giving their back, but I feel that this is like more of the person that's looking towards you and looking at what you're doing. And if you can see here with the four of swords, there is two people in the background here as well and i feel like someone is very receptive to your energy pisces while being watched do you see what i'm saying so um keep it for the month of april i feel that it's going to be very important to any any moves any plans that you have keep it in the down low don't let people that are not really that close to you don't let them know what you're planning because i feel that there is like, there's going to be some type of hate coming through. Uh, and for some of you guys, this could be in regards to a relationship or a connection where there has been a bit of stagnation. There hasn't been much movement. Um, things are not progressing the way you would want them. For some of you guys, distance could be involved or no communication. For others of you, there could have been an ending to a relationship where there's no communication because you guys are being very prideful. Now, in regards to love and romance, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So I'm getting two different storylines. We have two tens here. So there's definitely an ending cycle that's happening right now that you're going to be experiencing. What they're showing me is with the Ten of Swords, there, there could be a situation that comes to the forefront in the month of April where you get clarity, and the reason why you're getting clarity is because someone's coming to you revealing some type of information, but they're doing it out of spite. They're doing it because they're just trying to really get the best out of you. With the Four of Swords, what they're telling you is don't take any major, um, don't react, don't overreact, because it could affect the longevity of a relationship if you are in a committed relationship however it could be an ending cycle of ending if you've been feeling like your partner hasn't been completely honest or they're deceiving or lying or, or keeping something from you uh it could be that the ending of that struggle comes to the forefront in the month of april do you see what i'm saying so it could be that potentially someone comes to you to try to throw dirt on your partner and in reality, if you don't overreact and wait for things to unfold, you quickly come to the understanding that it's coming from a person that you cannot fully trust because their intentions are, are in, a, in a very malice way. And instead of creating distance, it strengthens your partnership. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, for some of you guys, if you're dealing with the workplace and you're dealing with situations where you feel like People are constantly looking at you or there's a lot of rumors in the office or in your workplace or people come to you and are telling you like, hey, Pisces, did you hear that this and this is going on with this? Like, don't invite more drama because I feel that it could potentially affect you down the road where they may use some type of information or a comment that you make to try to use that against you down the road. So be careful with that. Now, when we're talking about relationships for some of you guys, those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, you're very guarded and very defensive, but I do see that you've been through a lot. I do see that you've been through 
a transformative energy of a lot of you got you got yourself out of a very dark situation, perhaps sad or depressed uh, because a relationship came to an end. Um, and like I said, you're very guarded. However, they are showing me four here. And this could represent, uh, you know, like we were saying that the month of April, obviously, this is the April reading. There is the potential to manifest some type of long-term relationship or some type of committed relationship that's coming towards you that you may not like see coming through. So it's almost like you're not when you're not seeking for love, when you're working on yourself, when you're working on your healing, when you're working on, you know, manifesting, uh, that's when a relationship comes to the forefront. And you may be dealing with Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It could also represent um, air energy, Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius type of energy here. Now let's see what the spirit's energy is here. We have the three of cups. Okay. So the three of cups is about thinking positively. Pisces, it is important to keep your emotions in check. For some of you guys, there's been a constant struggle in regards to how you're feeling. It's almost like you have this up and down type of energy where there's a lot of inconsistency in how you're feeling. For some of you guys, you may actually be dealing with some type of depression or being too much in your head. What Spirit is telling you is the way to shake that off is to learn to count your blessings, Pisces. Uh, the Three of Cups is always about celebratory type of energy. It is all about being positive and making sure that you surround yourself with positive people, not negative, spiteful, toxic people. Um, this is about really uh, being surrounded by family member, friends, people that are very positive, that are bringing out the best in you, Pisces. It's going to help you get out of that that dark cloud that you may be feeling or you may be experiencing. Uh, for some of you guys, I am hearing there is a lot of transformative energy, transformative in your physical appearance. So for some of you guys, it could be changing uh, certain eating habits, certain behaviors, or certain, um, you know, if you're a smoker, anything like that. I do see like uh, the wanting to better yourself, to strengthen yourself. And there is transformative energy that's coming through for some of you guys where there's going to be uh, transformative in your physical appearance. So this is a very positive. Uh, again, try the best you can to remain optimistic and positive. Count your blessings, Pisces. I hope this gives you guys some type of insight. We're going to be pulling out the Oracle card to see what uh, Spirit's direct message is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I almost forgot, by the way. <laughs> I think my last reading, I'm not sure if it was last month. I forgot a sign to pull out an Oracle card for a sign. So I'm glad that Spirit reminded me. Thank you, Spirit. All right. What is Pisces' Oracle message here? in regards to the situation that they're going to be dealing with for the month of April 2021. Spirits, what are the messages? Okay, here we go. And we have six, a chakra, Archangel, Archangel Metatron. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of, if you can see here, very dark energy, right? A lot of swords, a lot of being in your head, um, doubting or fearing, um, fears about the future is what I'm hearing. Um, and if you can see here, we have a lot of blue, uh, in this card and that to me represents blue and purple. And that to me represents healing. It also represents really being able to connect, um, with the spirit realm. This is about listening to your intuition, Pisces. This is about believing in yourself. This is about uh, picking up on the signs or the, you know, I see for some of you guys a lot of angel numbers. I see for a lot of you guys even having dreams where, and here's another thing they're telling me, if you are constantly um, like out and about and you constantly see birds or you see anything that is of the feather family, uh, take that as a message. That is Spirit's message, letting you know that they are around you and that they are protecting you. Um, there is a lot of healing that needs to happen. For some of you guys, you may even experience like having this irrational need to argue or to constantly be on the defensive. And the reason for that is because for some of you guys, you may be dealing with depression. 
You may be dealing with the feeling of unhappiness um, because of circumstance or because of, uh, it's almost like a feeling of not knowing what to do. And what they're telling you here is pay attention because spirit is around you. They understand what you're going through and they're trying to guide you to the best they can. But you have to be open to that. Do not ignore your intuition, Pisces. Uh, you guys have very strong intuition, but there's always need for grounding for Pisces. Um, so again, if you're feeling a bit off or if you're feeling a bit disconnected, I highly encourage you to go towards um, a scenery or somewhere where there's uh, streaming water by the beach, by the lake, by the creek. If you don't have this, you can always run a bath. Um, make sure to put some essential oils that are going to help you really relax uh, because that that's you connecting with your element. It's going to help you ground yourself, Pisces. I wish you guys the very best. I hope this gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.